Hey, welcome back everyone. And in this video, I'm gonna address one of the comments from one of the viewers, Marcus. And his issue is with accordion. And this is a really good case because if you start implementing accordions in actual, which is super easy, if you haven't done so, if you haven't, if you don't know how to do so, check the video link below or check a video 25, I think in this playlist, which is basically covering how to make accordions really quickly happen. But so this is kind of like a follow up to that, because you know, before that, I showed you how to make this happen, where let's say you expand something, and it animates in, and you kind of you can do as many accordions as you wish, you can collapse, you can, you know, expand and stuff like that. But it's a build up because you immediately can see where the issue is. If I open accordions, they start to pop out and then we push all the information down below like footer, let's say, like so. But the background is not changing. So Marcus question really was about, hey, how can I make my prototype intuitive enough so I don't have to do something like this. Basically, I push all the objects down below, I make this white space just, you know, just in case like a super long, like 2000 pixels so that it can contain and doesn't look broken if the users expand all of them, let's say like this, look. I'm gonna expand as many as I wish and then I have so much white space and my footer is somewhere below because it's being pushed by the panels as I expand. And still, if you have too many accordions like FAQ page, it, chances are it could explode and it's not gonna die. So, his query is really valid and it's something what my junior designers I worked with or colleagues, peers, always pick up with when working with accordions because you can't end up with this white space especially if you need to user test something down below, below the accordion, right? So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make the background flexible to accordion and how to do so easily. What I would do really, I would still make a really big uh, background like so, and I would convert it into a dynamic panel. So let's say if we would give it a name like BG to flex, so that we can flex it up and down, I would then resize it and resize it probably to like, let's say a size like this. And now here's a trick. Actual easily allows you to adjust the size of it and could easily allow you to, let's say, push the footer down or something like that. Like this, let's say. And what I would do next, I would just note down the initial size of the panel. So let's say, I know that the height of it right now is 728. And I would also know down how big our expanded accordion item is. So let's say it's 330 if it's expanded. And now every time I open it, I would just increase the size of the panel by 330. It's easy as that, you see? So I, I could do something like, let's say, if I preview right now, let me just show you what's before. If I, let's say, expand this item, it pushes the footer with the actual dynamics, but it doesn't resize the, the panel. So I can just tell it to, let's say, on click, which is inside our default state, I can just tell it another action and say set size. Where did you go now, fella? Set size and select our background element, BG flex. I can, I can go to functions and I can detect the existing height which is, or I could just add it like so. So let's say I could just set it to 1200 or something like that. But that doesn't add us flexibility. What we really want to do is select local variable and detect the existing size so that we can incrementally increase it or decrease it, right? So I'm gonna go LVAR1 and just say widget. And a widget is really our flex again, like so. And in the functions, I would just be like lwar one dot height plus. And now what I'm basically saying is, let's take that variables widgets height and add 330. So let's say if we would open, I don't know, five of them, the height naturally would increase by 330 and then it would update the whole variable. So the height, you know, could be 1,800 instead of 1,200 right now. So we always need to update that variable and it could be just a local variable like so. 
if we click done and preview as as you know we just attached action to one of them but boom as you can see the background now adapts and if i collapse nothing happens just the footer goes up so we would also need to take out of it too and that can be easily done in the content let's say where we collapse it we just add another action and exactly the same way we would go to set size bg to flex function delete that numeric value we don't need that we can add a new variable local variable text on widget nope widget again select bg bg to flex and here lvar one dot height minus 330 let's say and now it's gonna take out 330 and let me show you how it works and that it works you're gonna see that boom it expanded the background boom it resized the background simple as that you don't have to f around with massive white background you can just increase so what i would do next i would just literally go ahead and that existing behavior with the set size just copy it and paste it in every single one where you have your on click event to expand the item. Boom. And so now every single item here, every accordion expanding item, regardless of the current height of this panel underneath is going to take the variable, update it and then adjust by 330 plus or minus. And let me demo it for you. So we know for sure that that works already. It increased the height. If we add another one, it increased the height more. If we add another one, it increased the height more. As you can see, it overlaps a little bit because we had a break, but that's because it's not exactly 330. You also have the space between them. So you need to figure out how much you want to add. But as you can see, it adjusts the height of the panel and does so pretty well. As long as you get your dimensions right, meaning that plus or minus 330, you should be right. So that's the trick. That's the solution to your question, Marcus. I hope it's helpful and it can be as easy as that. And again, if you're new to this, go back the video to video 25 to check how I made the accordions in the first place. It's really easy. It takes like 10 minutes to master it all. And then you know exactly how to do it. And then you can just replicate behavior like that. Like it's no big deal. So as usual, if it's useful, give a like, subscribe to this channel, share with a friend and stay tuned for more material.